With a name as colorful as his adventurous past, the honorary Colonel Robert Spotswood initially earned fame as the heavily armed messenger on the express stage from Atchison to Denver. The coach, described as a cage on wheels with heavy iron doors and an iron safe, was built to carry valuables. Spotswood made the trips successfully, carrying as much as $160,000 in gold and never lost a single penny. As the station master at Virginia Dale, Colorado, Spotswood is said to have repelled a hostile Indian attack with an old stovepipe and the axle from a pair of wagon wheels. When the colonel pretended to load his phony cannon with gunpowder, the attacking Indians promptly retreated into the hills. On January 8, 1888, Colonel Spotswood married Jessie Broad. The couple bought 160 acres for a stock farm and home from John G. Lilly, west of Littleton and south of Bowles Avenue. The property, which would later become the site of the Columbine Country Club, was known as the Valley Stock Farm. In 1890, the Littleton Independent reported, R.J. Spotswood has begun the erection of a modern business block on the corner of Main and Curtis Streets, opposite Chancey Olmsted's livery barn. It will be two stories and built of stone. This building still stands at 2590 West Main Street and is part of the Littleton Main Street National Historic District. In 1892, Colonel Spotswood moved his family to an elegant nine-room home on Curtis Street. He is rumored to have later rented the house to infamous cannibal Alfred Packer. Following a three-year career in the hotel business at Walcott, Colorado, Spotswood returned to his Curtis Street home where he died in 1910. Spotswood is buried in Littleton Cemetery.